In what could be the discovery of the century, NASA has announced that they may have just received the first ever alien signals coming from Proxima b. The exoplanet has long been speculated to be habitable, and this new signal could finally prove it is home to an advanced alien race. Let's take a closer look. Astronomers searching for signs of life beyond Earth have spotted something strange. An as yet unexplained radio signal appears to be coming from the direction of Proxima Centauri. Adding to the excitement, at least two planets orbit this star, one of which might be temperate and rocky like Earth. Breakthrough Listen, a decade-long search for alien broadcasts from the nearest million stars, was using Australia's Parkes Observatory to study Proxima Centauri when the team detected the conspicuous signal, which they dubbed BLC-1. The radio waves were picked up in observations made between April and May 2019. Though many scientists strongly suspect that the signal is human in origin, BLC-1 is the most tantalizing detection breakthrough has made so far in its search for extraterrestrial intelligence. The team is preparing two papers describing the signal and follow-up analysis, which isn't yet complete. While researchers continue to analyze the signal, and experts caution that there is almost certainly an ordinary terrestrial explanation, even a remote hint of life beyond Earth has people excited. Scientists have been scanning the skies for radio signals that could be artificial in origin for 60 years, starting with Project Ozma, a search conducted in 1960. Unlike radio waves the cosmos produces naturally, these whispers from extraterrestrials are expected to look a lot like the transmissions humans use to communicate. Such signals would cover a very narrow range of radio frequencies. They would also have a characteristic drift, indicating that the source is moving toward or away from Earth, a clue that the radio source is coming from a distant cosmic object, such as a planet orbiting a star. Scientists believe that only human technology seems to produce signals like that, such as things like Wi-Fi, cell towers, GPS, and satellite radio. All of these produce signals exactly like the ones they are searching the cosmos for, which makes it very hard to tell if something is from outer space or human-generated technology. Over the decades, astronomers have detected numerous candidate signals. Some turned out to come from previously unknown astronomical sources, such as pulsars, the rapidly rotating corpses of dead stars that beam radio waves into the cosmos. The first known fast radio bursts, brief blasts of radio waves that are still somewhat mysterious, initially seemed as though they could be artificial signals. Signals called peritons, which are less energetic bursts of radio emission, also raised eyebrows until scientists determined their origin, a microwave oven. BLC-1 could be beaming from an object that isn't transmitting as expected. A satellite that hasn't been identified yet, a plane traveling overhead, a transmitter on the ground near the telescope's line of sight, or perhaps something even more mundane like faulty electronics in a nearby building or a passing car. And then there are the signals that astronomers haven't been able to definitively pin to a natural source, such as the famous WOW signal, picked up by the Ohio State University Radio Observatory, colloquially known as Big Ear, in 1977. This extremely bright barrage of radio waves initially looked like a real SETI detection, but no one has been able to verify it or find it again. Proxima b is an exoplanet that lies just 4.2 light years away from Earth, a distance that is negligible when taking into consideration the endless size of the universe. It is the closest planet outside the solar system, and recent studies have pinpointed it to be just 17% more massive than our planet. The planet resides in the much-coveted Goldilocks zone of its star. This means it is in just the right spot to have the possibility of liquid water on its surface. Any closer and all the water would evaporate from the heat, and being any farther would cause it all to freeze. While previously it was thought that the planet was just about 1.3 Earth masses, the new measurements indicate that the planet may be more like Earth than ever thought before. The planet was first detected by a spectrograph called High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planet Searcher, but new methods have since allowed scientists to have an ultra-precise view of the planet. The planet orbits around Proxima Centauri, which happens to be the closest star to the Sun, and since it sits in the habitable zone of this star, scientists speculate it could be home to microscopic or even intelligent life. While the planet enjoys a terrestrial terrain similar to the Earth, there are some ways it is significantly different from our planet as well. 
For one, scientists believe that the planet is tidally locked and in a synchronous rotation with its star. This means that one side of the planet is always facing the star, while the other is always facing away. Additionally, Proxima Centauri is much smaller and much dimmer compared to the Sun. Since the planet sits relatively close to its star, some researchers believe it may not have an atmosphere. This is because the radiation coming from Proxima Centauri might have stripped away the planet's air, making it impossible for its surface to harbor liquid water. However, all these questions may be definitively answered once the new technology is available to inspect the planet at a much more intimate level. In 2015, Breakthrough Listen kicked off a decade-long search funded by Silicon Valley investor Yuri Milner, and so far, the team hasn't found anything definitive in their scans of the skies. Starting in April 2019, Breakthrough aimed the Parkes telescope at Proxima Centauri. Not necessarily because scientists were searching for aliens, but because they were hoping to better understand the gargantuan flares that the small red dwarf stars like Proxima frequently emit. While processing these observations this summer, Shane Smith, an undergraduate from Hillsdale College in Michigan working with Breakthrough, spotted BLC-1 radiating from the star. Although the signal is faint, BLC-1 passed all the tests the Breakthrough team uses to filter out the millions of signals generated by humans. It was narrow in bandwidth, appeared to drift in frequency, and disappeared when the telescope shifted its gaze from Proxima to a different object. Over the following days, four similar signals appeared, although some have been ruled out as radio interference. According to astronomers, if BLC-1 is, against all odds, a postcard from the star system next door, then statistically speaking, the Milky Way must be stuffed with communicating civilizations. In this case, there would be more than a half billion societies out there in our galaxy. Since the detection, the team has again observed Proxima Centauri and found nothing. Scientists are working on developing new tests that could pinpoint the signal's origin, including continuing to aim the Parkes telescope at Proxima. Scientists from the SETI Institute are already in the process of creating new tests and diligently working to confirm the signal's origin is a natural part of the SETI endeavor and one that everyone can learn and benefit from. The team has stated that evaluating BLC-1 has taught them a lot about testing their data. Follow-up observations of Proxima Centauri will be valuable for understanding how such stars behave, as well as for achieving a comprehensive study search of a nearby star system with known planets, even if it isn't populated by technologically savvy aliens. Researchers say that even if the signal is most likely interference from human technology, the process of identifying it has made them better at searching for such signals in the future. The researchers scanned Proxima Centauri across a frequency range of 700 MHz to 4 GHz, with a resolution of 3.81 Hz. This is the equivalent of tuning to more than 800 million radio channels at a time with exquisite sensitivity. Using the Parkes Telescope in Australia, one of the largest telescopes in the Southern Hemisphere, since 2016, scientists have detected more than 4.1 million hits, or frequency ranges that had signs of potentially significant radio signals. However, upon subsequent analysis, the vast majority of such hits usually turned out to be emissions from human technology here on Earth. Specifically, the researchers looked for radio signals that may have come from Proxima Centauri based on two main criteria. First, they looked at whether the signal was changing steadily in frequency over time. A transmitter on a distant planet is expected to move concerning whatever telescope on Earth detects it, leading to a Doppler shift in frequency, akin to how ambulance sirens sound higher pitched as the vehicle drives toward you and lower pitched as it moves away. Rejecting hits with no such hints of motion reduced the number of hits from about 4.1 million to about 1 million. Second, the researchers determined whether the remaining hits appeared to come from the direction of Proxima Centauri. To determine this, the telescope pointed in the direction of the star and then pointed away, repeating this on-off pattern several times. A candidate techno signature should appear only in the on observation when the telescope is looking toward the star, whereas local sources are expected to have both on and off observations. After scientists applied both these filters, they next visually inspected the remaining 5,160 candidates to weed out common mistakes. For example, sometimes a faint signal was visible in the off observations but was not quite strong enough for the automated data analysis software to detect. 
The remaining signal of interest persisted for more than two hours of observations and appeared to be present only in on observations for Proxima Centauri. Scientists think BLC-1 is most likely an extreme example of local interference in the sense that its properties are very different from other interferences and it thus could mimic a bona fide techno signature. The project will continue monitoring Proxima Centauri and keep refining its algorithms to improve its ability to discriminate between real and false signals. The field of techno-signature science has matured to the point where sufficient technical expertise exists to investigate putative signals in great detail, and the data are of a high enough quality to do so rigorously. The successful detection and investigation of BLC-1 are indicative of a dramatic expansion of observational capability in SETI searches. In the future, upcoming radio telescopes such as Meerkat in South Africa and the Very Large Array or VLA in the Southwest United States will offer new and powerful ways to reject interference and improve our sensitivity. Astronomers say they are already well along in deploying new SETI systems on Meerkat and VLA, and when they are fully online, they will allow them to observe millions of stars per year between them. If you like this video, you may also be interested in this one, which talks about NASA's discovery of a new planet-killer asteroid. Do you think Proxima b is home to an alien civilization? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below.